Hey guys, welcome back to Paul's. Today's video is brought to you by JurassicLovers.co.uk and they were very kind enough to send us a sample of one of their shirts. Um, so today I'm just doing a very quick review of this shirt and then we'll get on to today's Planet Coaster video. So I'll try and pronounce it the best I can. I believe this is a Stigler Moshe, I think, um, but it's a dinosaur print that uh, was uh, really caught my eye when I was looking through the website. Um, it's a really good quality shirt. Um, it is a Gildan um, soft shirt. Very good quality, really light. Feels really nice when you wear it. Not too tight around the neck as well, which is something that you find a lot on these kind of printed shirts. So in terms of the actual print itself, as you can see, very, very well done. Uh, it's a very good quality. Uh, even feels really nice. Like it's not going to come off in the wash. It's not something that's going to just uh, just wash away. That's going to stay with you for a while. That is. Um, so I've gone obviously for the black tea. Um, I believe there are different colours you can go for. I'm pretty sure there's a grey and I think there's many different colours and options you can choose for uh, choose on the website. And obviously there's plenty of other designs as well. Um, from what I understand, different artists have created different things for the site. Um, so it's supporting them as well as the uh, the whole shop itself. Yes, yeah, so there's numerous different. Uh, options available, different designs, different colours, different styles. And you can also get um, clocks, mouse mats, uh, posters, anything you want really. Um, so I strongly recommend heading over to jurassiclovers.co.uk right now to make a purchase. Um, I'll drop all the social media stuff down below as well, like the Facebook, the Twitter, and there is also a Discord server if you would like to jump over to that as well. So if you are interested in making a purchase, um, head over to the website right now and uh, there's a special offer at the moment. So up until the 31st of August of this year, you can get 25% off all clothing by using the code JURASSIC25. So that's JURASSIC25 and you get 25% off all clothing. Okay guys, thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, let's head over into today's video. Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to Clapboard Studios. This is our movie studio park built here in Planet Coaster. So today we're going to do a little bit more work on our sci-fi area which we started in the last episode. So if you didn't see that episode and want to see how we put all this together, then check back the playlist and you can watch all the videos up until this point. So this, if this is the kind of content you like, theme park, simulation games, sci-fi, pipes and steam, I don't know, um, consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to give this video a big like down below if you have enjoyed it. So on today's video, um, thank you ever so much for all the comments from the last one and all the suggestions for this sci-fi area. Um, there's some really good suggestions and some that I am going to take on board. So just to fill you in on the plan, um, this is the sci-fi area just here and it's sort of just beyond the um, horror area, which I am going to finish this ride eventually, I promise. Um, so yeah, this is the, um, the sci-fi zone just over here. Now, the plan is there's going to be a big dark ride or indoor coaster here. A lot of people wanted a kind of uh, Space Mountain style roller coaster. That's a potential option, actually. I think that's something we can do quite easily in this space and just put it in a nice sort of building, maybe a big facade in front of it. Uh, or just a big theme building could work. Um, so, yeah, I really like that idea. Uh, another thing that someone mentioned, actually, which I'm sort of toying with the idea of, I think I might even do in today's video, is a kind of stunt show or like um, a fire and light show. I really like that idea. So I think that's something we might build over this side here, like a little stadium or something with some kind of uh, like a like a sci-fi stunt show. We can sort of theme it up like the inside of a space station or something. So I don't know. I'm really I really like the idea of that. Um, so thank you for all the suggestions. Like I said I really I really love the fact that you guys get involved and and suggest stuff for these parks. I really do like it. So um, yeah, I think we might make a start on this today, and potentially the building for this, or maybe put. Uh, should we do a coaster? Yeah, maybe we do a coaster. I think that's. Uh, I think that's something. Yeah, let's do a coaster. Let's do a Space Mountain style coaster. Right, we've decided. So thank you for all the suggestions. That's what we're going to put here. So we might put in the actual layout, and then we might make a start on this kind of thing here, if we get time, but we'll see how we get on. Um, so let's uh, jump into a time lapse, and yeah, let's start putting some stuff together. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so the coaster itself is in. I've had a little bit of uh, building around the station, and I've just started theming it up a little bit. Um, so I'll just talk through roughly what I wanted to get, what, what I wanted to achieve with this ride. So I'm taking inspiration from Space Mountain, uh, but also uh, Crusher's Coaster at Disneyland Paris. So for anybody who is unaware of Crusher's Coaster, it is essentially a spinning coaster inside a building uh, that has this very uh, small little outdoor section at the front of the ride. Now I wanted to have uh, this very, very small outdoor sweeping section just here um, after the station before it goes into the lift hill. Uh, and like I say, just taking a little bit, a little bit of inspiration from that, and I think it works quite well around this uh, sort of can feature here. So in terms of the actual ride itself, if we jump into the station. I've started work on a little bit of the uh, theming. So this is Spaceport 775, uh, and generally it is just a spaceport launch kind of theme, very generic sci-fi. Um, so you head straight down this way, quite an open station. I want to keep this nice and open feel. Um, around this corner into the launch section, which takes you outside into that little bit we've just seen. So very basic, just some lighting um, and sort of random random sci-fi props. Um, still a little bit a little bit of work to do in here, uh, but generally you can see the sort of angle that I'm going for. Then onto the actual coaster itself, um, very um, sort of sweeping layout. Um, it's quite spaced out as you might notice, but there are, there are going to be bits of theme in here and there. Um, most of it will be sort of in the dark, just sort of star field. Um, but I'm going to put a sort of theming feature, uh, feature in this circular section here. Maybe something at the bottom of this drop. And then this slow section at the end uh, is going to have a small indoor themed section. Just into this lift hole and then back into the station. So sort of the the this area and this area are going to remain relatively in the dark. But with a few sporadic little bits of theming here and there. And I'm going to cut off, uh, put it all in one big building that's going to go around this sort of section here. Um, and then it's going to sort of cover this corner of the park. So that's generally how I've done it. Um, I've left a little bit of space here um, because I'm thinking we could put another ride in actually. So um, yes, we've got this, this sort of uh, Space Mountain-esque coaster at the back. Uh, the entrance that I'm going to build around this way and you're sort of going to come into it here. Um, but yeah, I think we could probably do another ride here. Um, so if you've got any suggestions, let me know. Um, I'm not sure what yet. Maybe some kind of dark ride again, but I don't know. They, they take they're a lot, very time consuming dark rides, so I'm not sure. We'll think about it. So they've got a lot of space here. Uh, I haven't had a chance to start on the show venue, but I am going to go ahead with that here, and that's something we'll pick up in a future episode. Um, yeah, I think we'll do it as a stunt show. That's what I'm going to. I think I will probably try and do a big facade, some random props and some of the stunt pieces from studios I think will work quite well and um, so that's what we'll put here okay so um, let's do a very quick POV of the coaster so far um, just so you can see the general layout it, it's not amazing but obviously once we get the um, uh, once I get the theme in, in it will definitely look a lot better um, so let's yeah let's have a little POV just showing you the, the layout so far
Okay, so there we go. That's a quick look at the ride. Obviously, this is going to be indoors. It's going to be in the dark, and there's going to be a lot of theming around. But generally, that is just how it is. Okay, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. If you've got any questions, queries, comments, or suggestions, drop those down below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Um, I will see you guys in a few days for more from uh, our Clapboard Studios Movie Studio Park. Until then, guys, thank you ever so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.